The armamentarium for this procedure is Ultra Etch Phosphoric Acid Etchant, Scotch Bond Universal Bonding Agent, Filtex Supreme Body Composite Resin, Composite Placement Instrument, Interproximal Carver, Explorer, and Light Curing Unit. This molar has been prepared with an MOD Class II preparation. The teeth are properly isolated with a rubber dam. Sectional matrices, wooden wedges, and rings have been placed and burnished. 37% phosphoric acid is applied to the enamel margins and the etchant is agitated with the etchant tip to spread any formed bubbles. Application of phosphoric acid creates a favorable etch pattern for micromechanical retention of the adhesive. The technique shown in this example is a selective etch technique in which the etchant is applied to the enamel only for 15 seconds. If a total etch technique is used instead, the etchant would be applied to both the enamel and the dentin for 15 seconds. The etchant is completely rinsed off the tooth. The dentin is then air dried to leave a moist surface. It's important not to over dry the dentin, particularly in the total etch mode, as it may prevent the formation of a hybrid layer. Adhesive is applied to the preparation for 20 seconds. It is important to scrub the adhesive into the preparation and make sure that the entire surface of the preparation is coated. If the preparation is too narrow for a microbrush, a Benda brush may be used to apply the adhesive. After applying the adhesive, the solvent in the adhesive should be evaporated. A gentle stream of air should be applied on the adhesive until the adhesive stops moving and the surface appears like a thin film of saran wrap. The adhesive is then cured for 10 seconds ensuring the light tip is placed parallel with the floor of the preparation and as close to the tooth as possible. We are now ready to fill the preparation. In this technique, the marginal ridges are formed first and then the remainder of the clusal surface is filled, turning a class 2 into a class 1. A small amount of composite is injected or placed into the mesial and distal box. It is important to visualize the placement of this composite and ensure that the composite completely adapts to the bottom of the box. The marginal ridge is formed by condensing the composite to make it even with the neighboring marginal ridges. Then the composite is pushed against the matrix, rolling up the composite and forming the marginal ridge. Finally, the ridge is contoured by running an explorer in the area of the clusal embrasure. The composite is light cured in 2 mm increments for 20 seconds. The composite is then forcefully extruded against the lingual wall of the preparation. The composite is then condensed against the side of the preparation to form an oblique layer. The anatomy of the remaining tooth is followed to form the shape of the restoration. Grooves may be formed with the side of the carver. This process is then repeated for the opposing cusp. Note the material is constantly being condensed against the side of the preparation. Secondary anatomy may be produced with an explorer. The occlusal surface of the restoration is then finished with an egg-shaped red stripe finishing carbide. After adjusting the patient's occlusion, 
The restoration is then polished with the Jiffy brush, as shown here, or an enhanced then pogo finishing point. The inner proximal flash can then be removed with a number 15 blade or a soft flex finishing disc.